high energy bike ride through Banff National Park. Tour guide Heather Black combines outdoor adventure with information about Indigenous culture. There's a high need for Indigenous tourism um, in, as we're the original storytellers of this land. Yeah. That need is growing. Certainly, I don't think we've ever seen as much interest and demand for Indigenous tourism as we do today. Just before the pandemic, the industry brought in nearly $2 billion in annual revenue. It's bounced back faster than expected. By the end of the summer, the way the business has been going, we expect to be, you know, about 1.5 or so uh, uh, billion in, in revenue. So we're really recovering uh, 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 quite fast. Business is so good for Tim Patterson, he's been working six days straight. Looking for a few days off, so. Tourists come from all over the world for his tour of the Athabasca Glacier. A lot from the States, but a growing number from Europe, uh, primarily France. Businesses within driving distance of a major airport have fared well, but in rural and remote areas. It's absolutely the opposite. Um, due to loss of some of the airline, consistent airline travel and that, it, it's, so it's a tale of two worlds. Some tourism has also been hit hard by the recent wildfires. When there's smoke in the air, people don't want to go into an area and they cancel plans. Still, operators like Heather Black are optimistic. As she wraps up today's tour on two wheels, she's already thinking about the future. I want to be able to have a team that are youth-led to be able to provide those tours out there. Um, and, it, it, you know, having a tour bus would be so awesome. A business venture and, she hopes, a forum for connection. Paula Duhacek, CBC News, Banff.